And now, sports with Brad Cisak. Well, welcome back. The quarterfinals of the LHSAA Boys Tournament underway this evening, and there was a monster game going on tonight at Woodlawn. The Knights taking on Fair Park. This one was so packed they had to turn people away at the door. Fair Park feeling it early in this one. Jeremy Johnson kicked it to Jarvit Perot on the wing. He laces in the three. Indians take a one-point lead. Woodlawn back in front now. Telvin Thomas gets the feed on the fast break. Beats the buzzer with the layup. Knights lead it by three after one. Second quarter, LeCalvin Scott finds Jalen Payne on the outlet pass. Payne money from beyond the arc. Woodlawn leads it by four. It was a slugfest early, and it stayed that way the whole game. Woodlawn, though, wins a thriller, taking it 55-52. to Across the river, Bozier looking to get back to the state tournament as they take on A.J. Ellender. Second half action, Ellender up three, adding to their lead. Marquis Mosley on the wing, knocks down the open look, extends the lead to six. Fourth quarter, Bozier down 12 now, clawing back in it, though, going to a Baryon Johnson in the paint. He gets the contested shot, only down by 10. But Ellender, too much in this game, passing it around, finds a cutting Ascari Anderson. He finishes at the rim, and Bozier's title offense comes to an end. The Bearcats fall at home 60-37. to Taking a look at some of, some of our other area Louisiana teams, North Caddo is moving on to the state semifinals. They get a 69-64 win over Faraday. They'll play Rayville on Wednesday, and the run comes to an end for Evangel in the Division I bracket. They fall to St. Augustine 60-33. Up in Arkansas, Nashville hosting Cave City in the quarterfinal. Scrappers rolling, get it to Ricardo Garcia in the paint. He gets the turnaround J to fall. Cave City answering back, passing it around. The cavemen finishing it off with an easy two, but Garcia still battling, fights through the baseline, gets the bucket. It was a good run for the Scrappers, but they're unable to get the win. They fall to Cave City 56 to 44. Over in Texas, just two teams left competing in the regional tournament. Starting in 4A, the dream is over for center. They fall in a tough loss to Argyle, 47-45. to And in Class 2A, Tenaha is moving on to the regional finals after their 92-67 to win over Italy. They'll play Grapeland tomorrow. For a full look at the area scores, go to arclatexhomepage.com and click on Local Sports. In the girls' playoffs, Florine and Anacoco squaring off in the Class B title game. This game, tie game early, Florine coming out, sniping a long two from Kylie Struther, puts the Black Cats up by two. Lady Black Cats going again to Kendra Richardson. The paint extends the lead to six. It's a big day for the Florine Lady Black Cats as they take down Anacoco 53-38 to and win the state championship. And Jackie already got a handful of boys teams going down to Lake Charles. Girls tournament was in Hammond, boys in Lake Charles looking to bring home a state championship there. And one Texas team, Tenaha, if they win tomorrow afternoon, they go to San Antonio for the Texas state championship. So a lot of playoffs still to go, but it's wrapping up here. All right. And congratulations to Woodlawn, but we're kind of pulling for Fair Park. Because yeah, with it there. being, you know, with everything being up in air with Fair Park, it would have been a great story if they were to finish it off. But, you know, hard fought game, but fall tonight. All right. Thank you very much. Well, stay with us. Chief Meteorologist Todd Warren has a final check of your forecast next.